Hey guys, Kara Sivikita with a triple review. This time I'll be reviewing the deluxe pack adventure Famista and Zevi Gashat from Counter X Aid. These are a second subline known as Legend Game Gashats, which are based on classic Namco games since Bandai currently owns Namco in what is now known as Bandai Namco Games. So, let's get started. First up is the Pack Adventure Gashat. While this is not the name of any officially licensed Namco game, this is obviously based on the classic arcade game Pac-Man, where you as Pac-Man have to eat all the pellets in a maze while either avoiding the ghosts or eating them after you pick up a power pellet. So you can see that the cover art here is like that of the classic Pac-Man arcade game. You've got the tile on the side, and of course it is yellow and black. And a nice touch, the tunes for these gashats are also uh, old mini clip tunes. We flip it over. We can see that it also uses basically a screenshot from the game depicting one of the mazes with Pac-Man and the ghosts in it. Next we have the Famistad Gashat, which is short for Family Stadium. This was the first in a long line of Japanese baseball games that started out on the Nintendo Famicom. Now this game was brought over to the US as RBI Baseball, and while that series has continued, the following games were made by different developers. However, a couple more games from the series were brought to the US as Super Batter Up for the SNES and Extra Bases for the Game Boy. And for this, just like with Pack Adventure, you have the game art here, which is identical to the uh, art of the original game. Plus the name on the side. And on the back you can see the baseball field depicted in the game. After that is the Zevius Gashat. So, this was another old arcade game where you as the jet fighter Solvalu fought off against aliens from the planet Zevius. You can see the cover art here, which is identical to that as seen on the arcade games or copies of the game like ports. Right there. And again, name on the side. And once again, the art display on the back is basically a screenshot from the game where you can see a bunch of different fighters and enemies on the field. As well as stuff like your lives down in the corner and the score up at the top. Next we'll use these gadgets with the Gamer Driver. Starting off with Pack Adventure. So, insert into slot 1 for the level 1 transformation. So it has the same transformation level 1 sound, or level 1 tune, as the standard gashat, so I'll only be showing off with one of these gashats. Then we'll open up for level 2. And the other cool thing about these gashats is that the background tunes they use for the level up songs are tunes from the actual games themselves. Then moving over to slot 2. 
We got the level three transformation sound. And that song should be a lot more familiar to people who have played Pac-Man, since that's the tune you get at the start of each level. Then, since X8 uses this gacha, we'll bring in Mighty Action X. Mighty Action X! And that gives us X8 Pack Action Gamer. Which I'll bring in the box to show you what that looks like. As you can see, it's a recolored version of Robot Action Gamer. But it replaces the single robot glove with a couple of orange gloves similar to those worn by Pac-Man. Next up is Famista. We'll skip to level two. Then level three. And this is also the tune that starts up when you start up a game in Famisa. So for this one, it's used by Conrad Brave, so we'll bring in Tal Quest. That gives us Brave Fami Star Quest Gamer, which as you can see is a retooled version of Beat Quest Gamer. So you can see the cap has been replaced with a baseball cap with the letter N on it. The boombox on the shoulder has been replaced by with a baseball launcher. And while you can't see it here on the box art, he also gets a pitcher smith on his left hand. And finally, Zebius. Now, unlike the other two, the level two theme is the one used at the start of the respective game. Now a little bit of trivia for that one is that it has the word Gust Not in it. And that's just a reference to the Gust Not remix of the theme for Super Zevius. And this one, Connor Snipe uses it, so we'll bring in Bang Bang Shooting.
that gives us Snipe, Zevius Healing Gamer. And going by the same pattern, this is a retweet version of Combat Shooting Gamer, where the front chest plate has been replaced by one that's made to resemble the Soul Valu. Next up, I'll show off the Kimewaza attacks for these Gashats. First, bring in the Slot Holder for the Critical Strike. And since it's the same generic Critical Strike as most of the other Gashats, I'm only going to show it off with this one. So, for the rest, use the Rider's individual respective weapons for the critical finishes. So, Pack Adventure in the Gashkan Breaker. Famista in the Gashkan Sword. And Zevius in the Gashkan Magnum. And finally, we'll take a look at some combination attacks in the Gashkanji Slasher. And there we go. Overall, the Legend Game Gadgets have a certain charm to them that really makes them stand out from the rest. Not only are they based on real life games as opposed to the made up ones for the TV series, but they also use the game art and screenshots from those games, as well as stance and music, and really helps them give off an overall retro game feel that really goes along well with the theme of Counter X Aid. So even though these weren't used in the TV series proper and were only exclusive to one episode of the Carnard Game New Web series, these are still gadgets I can recommend picking up. So, next time, I'll be reviewing the Fantasy Gamer and Simulation Gamer from the Level Up Rider series. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, let me know your thoughts down in the comment, and if you're new and want to see more, please subscribe. And for now, this is KRX50, riding off.